dear students i hope you are all doing well this is the first assignment of geotechnical engineering 1 which of the following types of soils fall under category of nanoparticles so first you need to know desi centi milli micro nano pico femto so nano particles it is 10 power minus 1 10 power minus 2 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 6 10 power minus 12 so that is soil has been classified into coarse aggregates and fine aggregates coarse aggregates are boulders gravel sand these are all having size greater than 75 micron below 75 micron it is silt and clay so silt size is 2 micron to 75 micron and less than 2 micron is the least size okay so it will come under nano particles so answer b for question number 1 coming to question number 2 what distinct property of soil differentiate them from other civil engineering materials generally civil engineering materials will have size shape and strength they do not have memory so answer c for question number 2 question number 3 arsenic oozing out of soils is a dash process so when we use pesticides in agriculture so generally pesticides are chemicals so arsenic will be added to the soil arsenic will be added to the soil so it is a chemical process answer b for question number 3 question number 4 what type of soils are predominantly found in himalaya region so himalaya region is a hilly region so and many rivers or originating from himalayas so all the soils formed from himalayas are transported by transported by some other locations transported by river water or ice generally ice glacial soils are formed in himalayan region because of ice so answer C for question number four. That is, it is glacial soils is the answer. Rocks can form from soils. The statement is obviously formation of soils is by weathering process. So weathering is formation of soils from a big rock is nothing but it is a weathering. It is a rocks can form from soils soils can form from rocks this is correct statement but rocks cannot be formed from soils it is a wrong statement it is false next question the process by which soils are 
formed is termed as weathering. Direct question. Answer C for question number 6. The types of weathering undergone by rocks that lead to formation of soils. So weathering is generally physical weathering, chemical weathering. Okay, so both A and B are the answers. So process of formation of soils. The types of weathering undergone by rocks that leads to formation of soils is it may be physical and chemical weatherings. So answer A and B. Under physical weathering, under chemical weathering, there are different types. Hydration, carbonation, oxidation, solution, hydrolysis. And here temperature changes, wedging of, wedging action of ice, spreading of roots and abrasion. So next question, which of the following is not a transport agency? So generally wind, water, gravity force, these are all transporting agency for the soils. But microbes is not transporting agency. Okay, so answer D for question number 8. Coming to 9, which of the following is not an engineering property of soils? Generally, engineering properties of soils is generally for soils. There are properties are permeability, particle size, consolidation, and the other will be it is strength. Generally, it is soils will have shear strength, not direct strength. Okay, so answer a for question number nine coming to question number ten the domains other than civil engineering where properties of soil are studied are pharmaceuticals it is a medical field so about soils it will not be studied cosmetics it is a facial creams here also about soils are not studied agriculture it is about soils are studied okay so answer a for question number 10 thank you